so if you are the one trying to do something unique with your smartphone then you are at the right place in today's video i'm going to show you the best launches of the past year which you need to try now in 2019 so now without any further ado let's get started The first tap in our list is computer launcher and its interface is totally customized like the way how windows 10 looks so by using this application you'll get the feel of using windows 10 on your smartphone same like even the application also opens in similar kind of interface uh, including the live gallery option which we get to see in windows 10 totally the shutdown option notification panel time and date etc everything everything looks same and at the bottom, it will show the recently used apps and notifications over here. The contact info, call, messaging, even the assistant is also provided in it with which you can use live commands to open any application. Well, not only that, but also the file manager is also quite similar like Windows 10. Cool, right? So if you like this launcher then the link is provided in the description make sure to check it out. The next launcher is AP15 and as per the developer this launcher is a lightweight home screen replacement focused on minimalism and efficiency. Well that's what this launcher is all about. You won't get to see any app drawer instead all the apps will be listed directly on home screen by their names. And since it's a lightweight launcher, so it has limited customizing features except this. And over here, on preference, there's an option to change the color, font size, background image, and so on, which doesn't come under customizing features, does it? Anyway, so one thing I managed to find, or let's say the best thing this launcher can do is it will automatically manage your favorite apps by counting the number of times they were opened. I mean, uh, it will show those apps uh, those apps font in bigger size so that we can easily find them later on whenever we need. So overall it's a good unique launcher with unique interface so definitely do check this as well. Next is Fastkey and with this launcher you can launch any app with just a couple of taps right from your home screen like for example if you want to open youtube then just by typing the letter y it will show all the y related stuff from your phone including your contact details from where you can make a call directly from the home screen so by the same way you can access any application or contacts with the help of that always on keyboard and it is said that it has got, uh, I mean this keyboard has got the response time after when you type any letter is just, is, is just only of 16 milliseconds which means it's, uh, how to say, uh, ultra fast guys, amazing eh? But the only problem is the ad drawer which looks totally ugly, you can see. Rest all is quite satisfied, even you can add widgets as well in this launcher. So overall it's a worth mentioning launcher which you need to try and hopefully maybe in future update they'll fix the app drawer, I think so. Anyway, just give it a try. So moving on, next is Lina Desktop UI. Well, after installing this application on your phone, you will feel like you're using not only phone but a PC without mouse and keyboard. Yeah, the way it works is exactly like desktop, for example, I mean like for example, if you open any window then you can simply align and resize it wherever you want and can open 3 or 4 windows at the same time. As you can see it on my phone, uh, on my phone screen, I can make this small, big, slide it across the screen, make it full screen, etc. Whatever I feel like doing, I can do it over here. And here you will get to see app drawer. You can make it small and big but I suggest you to keep it big or else you will find it difficult to open any particular app. So by using this launcher not only you can make it look unique but also can experience it. Think of this launcher is also provided there in the description so go ahead and give it a try. Okay this is the last but obviously not the least and with this we came to an end of this video. So it's a lens launcher which is which is also quite unique but it's not new in Play Store. And the reason for mentioning it over here is as I said already it's quite unique. 
Hey, not only that, but instead of scrolling long lists or swiping through multiple pages, you get a unique experience with this launcher to access any apps. Like uh, here you will get a graphical fishy eye lens to quickly zoom, pan and launch apps using touch gestures. So this launcher also includes a full settings menu to tweak all aspects of the lens like distortion, scaling, icon size, haptic feedback etc. And because of this uniqueness I had to mention this launcher in this video and hopefully you will like this launcher for sure. So let's give it a try. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.